Hello everybody, my name is Chip and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank part 15 and in today's part we're going to be making our way through the Thugs for Less prison with Clank and Ratchet because we got to do Clank's mission first and then Ratchet and then we're going to meet back up I believe, I don't think there's any other parts. Uh, and then we're going to continue on for uh, whatever we're going to be doing because uh, I don't remember what is after this off the top of my head, I'm not going to lie. I don't remember exactly what's after this. Uh, I do know that we're going to get something here though. And then it's going to cause us to go back to a different part of the, or sorry, a place that we've already been. That way we can get a little upgrade. Because I really like getting the upgrades in this game. They have some really good upgrades and going back from is always just a treat. Because you, you just feel like you deserve it, you know? Um, oh, okay. We had to wait for the bridge bot. I didn't realize. I haven't played this clank level. Well, I guess I, I said this off. Oh, wait, what the heck's going on? Please stop. Please stop. I want I can't see what's going on. Oh. Um I feel like I, I feel like I say this every single game. Uh or sorry, every single episode, but um I haven't played this game in a very long time, so I don't remember everything that we have to do off the top of my head. I always just have a vague idea of what is going to happen and how long it's going to take, but I'm usually wrong. So that's always fun. Yeah, so we have to leave the bridge bot over there, which is really sad, but it's fine. It's not a super big deal. Uh, let's get a. Uh, let's let's attack these little boys here, and then uh, we'll unlock you and we'll attack. Hopefully that. Oh nope, that doesn't work. Uh, attack, please. Hold on. Let's wait for. Let's wait till we get some more. There we go. Now let's attack, because now they'll actually kill them. There we go. These uh those bots are really strong. <laughs> like they're really 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 strong. Uh, they just had but one enemy and then it's just done. Alright, so hammer bot. Oh, we gotta use hammer every single time. That's fun. Alright, use it again. Hammer, hammer again. There we go. And I believe there's not much left here. We're gonna use hammer, open this guy up, and then we're going to build a bridge. There we go. These. I feel like the Clank's levels in any game are not really that challenging or just all that fun, really. Like, they're just there. Um, but I, from what I remember, I've only played Kraken Time once. But what I remember from Kraken Time is that I really like the Clank sections in that game. They're just really, really, really fun to me. Alright, so we're done with Clank. Clank is outside. Ratchet's next. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Another wrench. All right, so we get an upgraded wrench. It's a little more awkward in my opinion because he's just like, hey, look at this. It's a wrench. Ah, I fell. I died. I perished. Well, anyways, like I was saying, it's just really awkward because he just looks at the camera and goes, hey, look, another wrench, and then takes it. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. I find it very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. So let's do this. There we go. And let's just take care of you. By going like that and like that. There we go. There we go. I don't think we can. We can't comet strike, but I know that we can. Uh, that we can destroy these um, little bits that are hanging off. And they give us bolts, right? No, I guess not. Never mind. Never mind. I must be thinking of something else. Also, we were here earlier with Ratchet. This was the very first area in the game that um, we were able to do anything with Ratchet in. Um, so it's very strange because apparently this is where Angela was in the beginning um, but it's also where the thugs for less prison is I'm not sure I don't know if it's supposed to be the same ship or what it's supposed to be um, but I don't know it's just I've I just never really understood like if it's the same thing or not because um, it's before yeah it must be a different ship because it's before Angela hired the thugs for less because she left and then hired all the thugs for less people um, Unless they just stole it, which also could be the case. So, did you run into your little friend out there? I do not know what you mean. All right. So, uh, now that we met back up, we have to get our ship from this force field, which is actually fairly simple. Um, but we're gonna be going. I think we can go through. Can we go through here first? Okay, we can. Then I will be doing that. Oh, we got a hundred thousand bolts. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I think that's gonna change soon. <laughs> uh, this is the yes. This is the optional area. So we're gonna be going through here, which is 
you know, it's fairly simple. It's another levit levitator area, but it's uh, it's not that long at all. Like after we get past here, then we'll ooh, be done. But this is just kind of a little, not intro, but area. And as you can see, it's a familiar face. Hey, I know those pants. And sarn it, here's the problem. Excuse us, sir. What are you doing here in this galaxy? I can't control where things break. I just fix them. Surely someone in this galaxy can... Shh. I know that, but they don't. I get triple time and travel expenses. Ew. What's that? Some dead burned fool flushed this perfectly good quark action figure. Sure, it's a little ripe, but look at that craftsmanship. You want to buy it? All right, so we're going to buy the Captain Quark action figure for 20,000 bucks. There you go, pal. See you in another year or so. What did he mean by that? Uh, what he means is that Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal comes out in a year, which is Ratchet and Clank 3, if you didn't know. Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal comes out in a year, um, and that's the next time we'll see him. Because <laughs> the plumber is, I think, is the only care. Oh, okay, good. We made it. I think uh, the plumber is the only character that is in every single game besides Ratchet and Clank. Maybe Quark. I guess Quark's technically in every game, I think. Um, but anyways, nevertheless, the plumber is just a really fun character. He becomes basically like, um, it, they kind of show a little bit of hint with it in this game, but he becomes kind of like uh, all-knowing, like uh, omnip omnipotent, is that what it is? Where he just like knows what's going to happen. And, I don't know, he's just a really, really, really fun character. Um, nope, not that way. This way? This way! Uh, uh no, I almost had it. I guess maybe not, I didn't almost have it, but I mean, I did pretty well for just kind of fumbling my way through things. Ah! Oh! Uh, this way, this way, there we go. There we go, that's not too bad. Alright, um, oh yeah, we can break these lights. Oh, did not mean to do that, I want to land. I want to land. There we go, because I want to just see if I can get the, okay, well, I can't get all those lights, which is fine, but it's not a super big deal. Uh, let's just go through. Let's just, let's just go for it. Uh, we might get caught up here, but, uh, we might not. Oh, no, looks like we're fine. Looks like we're fine for now, for now. There's a couple, uh, more levitator areas. I actually forgot about these levitator, uh, areas in, in this part of the game, so, um, I guess there's a little bit more levitators, uh, things than I thought, but that's fine with me. I love the levitator. For some reason, I just feel like the levitator just works so well. Just works so, so well. All right, we gotta watch out for the lava. We gotta watch out, ooh, for the electricity and for these things. So if we get hit once, I think we uh, just fall. Um, I don't think you can save yourself or anything like that. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head and I'm not gonna try it. All right, so let's launch the levitator, make our way through these electrical fields. There we go. Oh, and presto. I think that's it, actually. That was actually quite simple. I wasn't expecting to do that first try. I remember it being a lot more tough. Ratchet, Clank, I hope this gets through to you. I'm transmitting from the Thugs for Less fleet. This ship just returned from a Megacorp distribution center, and I think I found the answer to... Hey, who's that? Meow. Uh, meow? Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing here? <laughs> Sending a message to your little pals, huh? Well, say goodbye, boys. Take her to headquarters. Whoa! Did you see that? Yes, Angela knows how to defeat the protobat. And? And she does a terrible cat impression. And we have to rescue her from the thugs. Agreed. We need that answer. And we have to protect her. Okay. I will upload the coordinates. All right. So we have to go get Angela now, or at least save her. Um, but first, we are going to get all these bolts that are here, because there's lots of them. Open up this door and make our way... To our ship. By the way, that switch also let our ship free. So, in case you're wondering why it's free now. Alright, we're going to enter. And we're actually not going to head and save Angela right now. We're actually going to go bring the Quark action figure to the Quark fan nerd guy. 
Um, if you guys remember from a couple parts ago, here at the um, here at the testing facility. So we're gonna head over there because we're gonna get the bolt grabber. I love the bolt grabber. I can't wait till we get there. I'll probably just skip because there's nothing really of interest uh, in between there and here. So I'm, like I said, probably just gonna probably just gonna end up cutting. All right. Oh, forgot that this guy was here. Uh, we're back. And actually, all the tractor beam stuff was actually all gone. Like, there's no more force fields or anything like that. So, it's very, very easy to come back here. Anyways, let's trade this quirk action figure for the armor magnetizer. Cool. Mwah. I'm taking the captain home before the humidity gets to him. That was really weird. It just, like, floated in the air. <laughs> Probably because the cutscene wasn't meant to be in, uh, full screen or whatever. So, it, the, all the cutscenes look weird. That's that's the one thing I don't really like about all this HD collection. Um, I guess that's most of the H most HD collections for any game. Uh, you can kind of see where things, the animation kind of, uh, they don't continue it because it doesn't need to be continued. Um... If that makes sense. You kind of see some people, either characters or objects, kind of just standing idle and not being used. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, let's head back to our ship. Now that we got the armor magnetizer, uh, I guess I kind of... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Sorry, choking. Um, I went through this and uh, took care of all the boxes. Uh, but as you can see, we can get bolts from a lot farther away now. Just from those couple bolts. Uh, and I guess I can show it off. Uh, I can show it off next part because uh, I'm not gonna lie. The Thugs for Less fleet is actually a ship level, so we're gonna be fighting some ships uh, and doing all that stuff, which I'm not a super big fan of. But it's fine. It's not a super big deal. This mission's actually not super tough. It just takes a little bit. So this part might be a little bit long. We'll just have to see. I don't know if there's a cutscene. There might be. All right, so we got to defeat the Thugs for Less fleet, and as you can see, um, they oh man, that ship is taking quite the turn. I've never seen it take that turn before. Um, all right, well, uh, easiest way to do this, in my opinion, ooh, is uh, just to what I like to do. There's four of these ships, by the way. Um, I just do this. I just kind of uh, go next to it like this, and I just I just roll to the side. Uh, it usually works. These ships just take a lot of punishment. Like that's the main thing, and they uh, they actually die uh, really quickly. But you can still hit them while they're going down, and uh, or there we go. There we go. You can still hit them while they're going down, and you think that they're up, but they're actually not. I don't know. I just remember not being the greatest. Please stop hitting me. I, I don't want to have to deal with these uh, the little tiny ships. I just want to have to deal with the big thugs for less ships that will shoot at me eventually. If you run into them, I think your ship also explodes. So you got to watch out for that. Please stop hitting me. Just please stop. Please stop it. Um, just a couple more. I don't want to run into the wall because I will die with that too. I should probably get some health and missile ammunition after this because we don't have it there we go that one's down down and out is there something uh through here i know there's a platinum bolt here too oh hello there's a ship through here there's that oh oh i died oh all right so i've taken out two ships already oh uh, the one thing is you have to watch out for these see like these little antenna sticking out from underneath these buildings and above these buildings Also, the ships don't load in correctly for some reason. Um, I don't know why exactly that is but uh, that's what it's doing right now um, You gotta watch out for these just these little outcroppings that these uh, that these things have I'm gonna go and I'm trying to get some uh, more watch them call it um, Some more missiles because that helps a lot and I just need more health too uh, but you gotta really watch out for these outcroppings so they're they're gonna get you they they uh, they destroy your ship in one hit and it's not fun not fun at all um, please give me something please ships give me something all right well whatever um, oh oh I got rare titanium which I didn't really need but I'll take it I guess um, all right I guess we're hitting this oh that, we're actually doing a lot of damage to it from afar 
um, with before we engage with it and it starts destroying us. Because it, they actually do a lot of damage. These Thugs for Less ships do a lot of damage. Just got to watch out for all their shenanigans. There we go. And I think we took care of it. I can't really tell. Oh, man, I was really close to it. I did not realize how close I was. Um, good thing I got out of the way before I died. Because uh, that can definitely happen where the ship's falling down and you hit it and then you just die. Because that, uh, that's definitely a thing. Wait, did I not take care of it? Is it still on the map? Is it still alive? No, it has to be dead, right? Okay, good, it is dead. It is dead. That's what I thought. I was like, no way is this thing still alive. Uh, I'm not going to go back in there, because that's how I die. <laughs> that is how I die. Um, I need. I don't want rare titanium. Like, I'll take it, but I don't want it. I want health and missiles and stuff like that. I don't want rare titanium. All right, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to be real careful about it. Aha! I was real careful. Um, let's just go. Oh, uh, where's the stug? Okay, it's apparently below us. Hold on, I'm going to turn around. Can I turn around doing this? No. That button does not turn me around. Uh, I was hitting R2. Does not work. Ah, I see the ship. I see the ship. Here it is. All right, so let's actually, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Put a little distance between ourselves and the ship. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. It's just a shield. I was going to say, we got some missiles, which we didn't. Sadly, I used mines on this already, and the mines actually did not do that much damage, so that's why I'm not using the mines, if you're curious. Mines do not do a lot of damage, but they are good for the smaller ships, which maybe I should be using for the smaller ships and not trying just to shoot them. I always forget that I have other weapons for these ship missions, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're eating a lot of rare titanium, though, which is fine by me. Okay, I need to get out of here. I need to just, like, position myself a little better so I can just hit the ship from a distance like this. This was, This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. There we go. Okay, we should be able to do quite a bit of damage to it now. Hopefully all these ships don't destroy me. There we go. Alright. Looks like it's just me and the ship, really. See some other ones, but it's fine. They're not a super big deal. They're not a super big deal. Alright, let's go fire. Keep firing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we're done with the... Uh, with the mission, and we should get a cutscene here. Well, it looks like the thugs moved Angela out of this quadrant. See if you can pick up any transmissions on the deep space channels. What is your problem? I'm trying to make a living here, and you two losers keep lousing it up. Ratchet and Clank, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if you two don't hightail it back to your own galaxy, I'm gonna blast you into so many pieces, you'll need a... Um, uh, well, there's gonna be a lot of them. I can tell you that. So you two hit the road and don't bother trying to find me because I've got wind. Uh, I mean, I'm like the wind. You never know where I might show up next. And I blow hard and I can be cooling on a warm summer day. And, uh, uh, well, you get the idea. Goodbye, morons. Does he realize he has just transmitted his exact location? If not, he's about to find out. Alright, so we're going to go to the galactic map, and we're going to go to Snevlek, 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but we're going to go to the Thugs for Less headquarters. Yeah, he was transmitting his location, and you can see in the background there is a planet that had coordinates on it, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, I'm assuming that's what they're talking about when they're talking about they transmitted their coordinates, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to be here. But we're going to do all this stuff in the next part. We can get a bunch of bolts here, too, by the way. Bunch, a bunch of bolts uh, right here in this beginning area. So I'm going to do this before I quit the game because uh, then all the bolts will come back. Uh, all right. So in the next part, we're going to be doing this area. And this may or may not take the entire part. I'm not 100% sure. If it, if it doesn't, see, I'm pretty sure it will because there's going to be a boss fight. And uh, that boss fight takes a very, very, very long time. Well, either way... Um, Oh, I don't want to purchase this right now. I actually want to save it up for that uh, armor piece that were that was 100,000 bolts. But anyways, I'm just stalling for time. I'll see you guys then.